Um, but we wanted to uh, load up on Bam, uh, not make it easy, stay out of foul trouble. I'll send him to the free throw line, um, just force everything to be uh, over top. Can you describe to me the, what, what that process is of understand how a team is playing? You know what they want to do, especially when you play with them already, but like having to feel it, see it during the game, and adjust to it, and then find like different ways of having, that, having offensive success. Uh, well, I mean, they got a, you know, I, I think their zone is pretty unique, um, which uh, kind of threw us out of our rhythm and timing, and, um, you know, they, they brought out some different defenses on us, so um, I thought that took a little bit of adjustment to figure it out, um, but, you know, we got good offensive players that can create and make plays and, and kind of read. Um, and so, you know, I think as the game went on, uh, we started to realize, uh, I guess, how to attack it. How many wait? How many uh, when you see defense like that, it's like you can only do so much in a zone. It seems like, but how do you observe other teams being able to do things in zones that are still like different, like ways that you have to understand what is happening before you can attack? Um. I mean, it's, it's just, you know, it was uncondi unconditional um, or unconditional, untraditional um, in terms of, you know, you don't see that much um, in the NBA. Um, but Spo is, you know, that it, it was excellent. That Their defensive uh, coverage, I don't know if it was like a 1-3, um, and then it ran like a 2-3 um, at moments. It was just, you know, it was different. Um, but again, I think as the game go on, you see how, you know, whether they're picking up guys on the strong side, um, I think we were starting to realize they are trying to take the first guy away um, or take that corner pass away, but they were bluffing it. Um, so it gave us a driving lane or a quick catch and shoot opportunities, and I thought we took advantage of that. Um, I thought we took the time. Pete, you brought it. The team is in the best moment of the season. How tough, how easy it can be to, to keep at this level for the following month until the postseason? Uh, we got our work cut out. It's never easy, uh, but I think we've just been doing a great job taking one game at a time. Did you, you, you talk here with your mates about the the ring, the championship, but it's something that is day by day. Oh uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's you know it's laying one brick at a time. Um, we know what the big picture is, but you know it's laying one brick at a time um, to get there uh, at the end. This is a locker room with a lot of stars. Um, I want to about Coach Lou. Uh, period in Cleveland too. Is that profile to be able to, to manage so many people here inside, so many stars? Uh, well, I'm not sh sure what the question is. If, 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 if Teron Lewis uh, probably the best coach, one of the best coaches in main terms, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, I mean, he, he's great at um, exactly that, being able to manage a uh, locker room like this. Um, but I think, you know, it's a special group on its own where we, we genuinely get along and enjoy and um, you know, our, our friends off the court. Um, so it makes it easy in that terms. And then, you know, T. Lou is obviously accomplished. He's won um, and he's successful. Um, and so it makes it easy on that end. Um, and then you just put everything together. Uh, we know what the one goal is and that's to, to ultimately win a championship together. Tell me about the other star, uh, how special it is for you, uh, mainly because he's in Indiana, you're going back there. Uh, with Kawhi? In your case, in your particular case, going to Indiana. Going again. to Indiana. Um, you know, it's obviously special um, going back where things started. Um, you know, I think at this point, you know, I, I enjoy it. Um, but having little ones, um, definitely enjoy it more that they get to experience the whole All Star experience. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, it's special. It's special. Uh, they get to see where it all started for me. Um, and we get to share that moment. You mentioned uh, wanting to keep the free throws down earlier, and you guys did a good job of that. I think you finished with like 10 more free throw attempts uh, than the Heat, and they've been good at that all year. You also held them to a really low percentage at the rim in that short mid range area as well. Was the game plan just to pack the paint? And how did you guys go about executing that? Yeah, um, you know, it was showing bodies for Bam. Bam is great in that paint area um, on those floaters and short jump shots. Um, so we just wanted to keep him in front, force everything over top. Um, and uh, again, um, 
he's a big shot fake guy, so we wanted to stay down um, and just not give up any easy baskets. Um, you played against a, a guy tonight who you played against over the summer in the Rico Hines runs with Hemi Hawkins, and he's obviously had a really nice start to the season. What do you think about the way that kind of he's played ever since you played against him? Yeah, I mean, he's a special rookie, um, definitely playing beyond his years uh, from, uh, uh, you know, this being his first year. Um, but, I mean, he couldn't be in any special uh, special place. Um with this Miami culture, uh, you know, that I think fits his identity and who he is, just a hard working player. Um, and, you know, it's the reason uh, I think he's playing and playing a lot of minutes here is, is because of his approach and how ready um, he is. Um, so, you know, I, I, I told him back when we played him in LA um, that this looks easy. And, uh, you know, he's only gonna get better and better the more experience he gets, so uh, Miami got a good one. And uh, the last one I wanted to ask you, sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, no, Long road trips are oh. hard, mm-hmm. obviously, not done yet, but mm-hmm. what have you, um, just evaluate what you've seen from this group so far, it seems like that, that you, um, you know, successful so far in the, yeah. that battle. Yeah, I mean, I think it's just the readiness um, and us just being dialed in. Um, this isn't an easy road trip. It's been brutal, especially being out west, going on east. When it's cold and, um, you know, the rough cities uh, with the weather. Uh, but we found a way to just take it, like I say, one game at a time. That's just been our MO. Um, we stay locked into a game plan. We figure out how to win, whether it's big wins um, or it's, it's tough ones. You know, we've, we've battled and figured it out. Against different coverages, matchups, um, personnel, uh, I think it just speaks value for just how ready to, ready this team is, um, and I think it, it, it will translate um, when we go down um, into playoff time and we got to win on the road and hostile environments away from home. Um, how well can we rally together um, and just stay in the moment and be in this locker room together? Um, I definitely think it has value going down deep into um, you know May June. Uh, so it was special, special. Hopefully we can finish strong with one more win tomorrow.